just got back spending a weekend at my Aunt Ruby's house and I watched my cousins my age, Abby and Julie, watch make, make their own cookies. So I thought maybe I could try making my own cookies and this is how they turned out. I think they turned out pretty well. But this is my cookie dough. It looks weird because the lighting's terrible. I used the cookbook that will be in the description below, but it was a little hard looking at like the two and one fourth. So it was a little confusing since I've been out of school for so long. So I had to ask my mom a couple of questions. Yeah, the lighting's bad, so I look pink. I think my cookie dough turned out pretty dang well. So this is how it looks. Now I got the oven set, I got the timer ready. And we're gonna bake some good cookies. When I was at their house and I watched them make it, it took two platforms, so I'm gonna start out with the first one. I'm gonna use the cookie scooper. And P.S. When we were there, we made a chocolate fudge, a double chocolate fudge cake there, so, and it was amazing. Should we show your puppy on the floor? Oh, oh. It's almost ready. Timer. Cookies ready. I don't know if they're melting or they're cooking. What do you guys think? <laughs> Look at that. That back one's like, I'm a blob. Okay, now how do I turn this off? Oh, oh. Ooh, they're good. They don't look good but they probably taste amazing. I think they made a good batch of cookies. Hi. Okay, how do you think of the cookie? Well, I only ate it because I had to taste my daughter's cookies. <laughs> that was the only reason I sacrificed. And that's all that's left. <laughs> They were delicious, Olivia. You did a wonderful job. Like, I was surprised. They were cooked to perfection. They better be. And right now, I am gonna show you all of the cookies that I just barely finished. Mom ate most of them. <laughs> she loved them. So I made a lot of cookies. Now I gotta clean up the kitchen. Yes, yes, I said to Olivia. If Olivia's gonna clean the kitchen, she has to clean up after herself. Yay. Hey, come here. Come here. What's inside your hat? Turn around. <laughs> My bouncy ball. <laughs> okay, get in. <laughs> Word travels fast when your Uncle David's in town. <laughs> Apparently my dad and my mom's brother, they're heading out somewhere fun. Doesn't that look like fun? Where's Cody? Hey Cody, I let him ride his bike over here for the first time all by himself. How did it go? I was worried you were gonna crash. Did you crash? <gasps> Good job. Oh my heck. Well, if you want a Dr. Pepper, come to Uncle Jared's house. And Dr. pizza. And pizza. I wish I would have come with them. I got the cream soda. Nice. Let's put that bouncy ball to action. Let's see. Oh my goodness. No, leave it on. I like it. I'm like looking at everybody's hats here. That's handsome. Let's see. Oh yeah, your guys' look oh, super I mean, good. I have one that has a skeleton on it. Find it. Bye. Bye, Grandma. Bye. <laughs> Do you see my mom's arms up in the air? <laughs> Jake it easy. Jake it easy. It is the next day. It's the weirdest thing how, if you've noticed lately, I've been like, oh my gosh, I forgot to close the vlog. Oh my gosh, like, how did I do that? I think it's because 
And I just, I try to be really open about, oh, <laughs> and maybe you didn't know it was the next day because I'm wearing the same <laughs> clothes. Well, what happened was Joel got up this morning and he took the three boys to the new house to go mow the lawn and the plumber was there and they've got some questions for me and so I'm gonna go answer them. I was actually just laying in bed watching TikTok. <laughs> because that's mommy's relaxing time and <laughs> I was feeling so guilty because I like my downtime my enjoying time is laying in my vet bed in my bed watching TikTok, scrolling on my phone or watching like a movie or something Joel's happy relaxing time is like being a busybody doing work that's just how it is Anyway, I get so many questions. What's your TikTok? What's your TikTok? We want to follow you. I bet it's so funny. I'm like, no. No, I don't have a TikTok. I'm actually not really funny. I just am obsessed with TikTok. So I don't have a TikTok. And then to circle back to the me forgetting to close the vlog all the time is because when we first started doing YouTube, we lived and breathed it, and it was that's the only thing that we had going on. It was like, oh, we just started a YouTube channel. Oh, like, and it was just everything revolved around making YouTube videos. And it's not that that's changed because we still make videos every single day, but it's evolved and it's changed. And we actually, I feel like we have so many like things going on, and YouTube is just a part of it. Hmm, I don't know if that sounds bad. Do you know what? I'm not gonna take that out. I was just thinking, I was like, well, I don't want people to think that it's not important to me. I'm just telling you the very absolute truth. YouTube is still a part of our everyday life and we live and breathe it still and we're still obsessed with it and love it. And that's genuine, like that's just the truth. I'm sitting here just telling you truth. But I feel like we also have a life. Like YouTube was our life and now we have a life and we love YouTube and we can do both. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that doesn't come across wrong. Joel's probably gonna watch this and go, no, we, you're not keeping that in. <laughs> but it's just true. I, and here's how it's evolved. So we do have an editor and it makes it more enjoyable for Jill and I to like sit down and watch the final product because it isn't like, oh, I just spent hours editing it. Now I need you to watch and approve it. It has just evolved. And I think it's evolved in a really good way because we can put some of our energy and maybe that's the change. So we've had an editor for a little bit, for like maybe a month. I think that's the change. I Yes, I see, it's a good thing that I was just talking about it out loud because I just like worked my way through that, like why it seems like it's changed. Doesn't that make sense? Oh my gosh, that makes sense. <laughs> I just had a reckoning because I was saying it out loud and I was being truthful. <gasps> mm, we hit a breakthrough together. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. That disconnect that I've been feeling, not disconnect, the difference, the change, is because we got an editor. Because I just said we live it and breathe it. We still love it. It's because we actually are not having to spend four or five hours, okay, not five, like four, like three to four hours a day editing. That's why we've been working on this house together and it definitely, and it's been occupying all of our time and our thoughts. That's it. That was the change. Guys, thanks for the breakthrough. Thanks for watching. I still love you. I still love YouTube and we're still going strong. <laughs> That's funny. And also I was driving and I just was like thinking about this conversation that we just shared. And I thought, you know what else is completely changing my life. It's my workout and it's more dedicated right now and it's harder now than I've ever like done that is playing a huge role in like my mindset, my shift. And I don't think I've ever worked out and ate well at the same time. I eat well in the past, I've eaten well, but I haven't, I can't work out. It's like that's just too much to do both. Or I've eaten really well, but I haven't worked out. And right now, I think is the first time that I really have like worked out hard, oops, burpee, and eaten well at the same time. Doesn't mean that I don't slip, doesn't mean that I'm not, that I'm perfect at it, because I am definitely not. Secret, that burp, 
tasted like Doritos and a soda. That happened this morning. Like I said, I was <laughs> in my bed veggie. <laughs> but I loved it. Balance. Okay, last thing. I think that's part of the biggest change too. Okay, bye.